going on explorers brandon abandoned six four explorer exploring with urbex stickler i got another cool spot for you guys it's not this house this house is completely falling down you'll see it in a short i'm gonna name it the half a house so check that out when you see it pop up but where i am right now it's a very horrible spot i didn't want to stick around too long so i didn't film the intro or outro there i'm at that puppy mill it's not a nice place it almost seems like somebody's been there recently watching it i got in i got out i'm gonna show you guys i hope you enjoy it i hope it's not too short let's get exploring all right everybody so we're inside this horrible place Look at the cobwebs. Nasty. It's just nuts, everything that's here. It's all quite a mess. Even got pictures of dogs. messed up there's even animal beds in here but just like look at everything left behind I'm not even gonna be able to get that way from here because there's so much junk like, how long does it take for cobwebs like that to start? Nothing in the cupboard. That's crazy. What a horrible place this is. Holes chewed in walls. Horrible. Doors open. This cage is built along out there. This cage is stacked and piled. It's disgusting. In here, food containers. Now, I don't want to stay at this place too long. It's been... It's been baited out a lot already by other explorers. I almost feel like maybe somebody's keeping an eye on this place now. Squeeze in here. Still, just all the clothes. Dogs. Well, this place has been abandoned for over 10, 11 years. I'm not totally sure exactly how long, but how long does it take for that to happen? Old binoculars. All these really old pictures, too. I mean, just such nasty condition. Everything is so gross. Oh, I'm gonna try and squeeze out of here again.
And then in here. But the doors don't even want to open anymore. This place has been left abandoned for so long. Yeah. Tons of everything. Like that's huge. grandfather clock we're just covering walls with with Polly like I'm sure at one point this house was in good condition but I really couldn't tell you when or how long Cool old pictures. It was like, I wonder, was there a family that lived here before it turned into a puppy mill? Was it just the first owners were these horrible people? How high that ceiling is. Crazy. We're gonna have to go upstairs. Look how nasty these stairs are. The carpet is so gross. I'm like this house is gigantic, so I don't understand how how it could have been used for such a horrible place. A whole lot of personal pictures. But they're all stuck together. Ceiling coming right down. Another bad room. Nice painting right there though. What a mess. Now again, I'm sorry that I'm not touching everything and going through stuff like I normally would. I always put it back, but I just wanted to, I don't want to mess with things in here. Everything's so disgusting. And again, I don't want to be here too long. I kind of want to get in and out of this place. You know, the old TV still there. All the old clothes still. And grandpa. That's crazy. <laughs> now, since everybody can see it, let's go take a peek, at least in this, eh? Let's put you down for a second. So, nope. That thing's just sealed shut. There's no way it's opening up. <clears throat> Again, ew. Put a big old trunk. The trunks are always nice. Oh, look, hamster cages and everything. Still got clothes. Left in closets. Clothes and jackets. This is horrible. There's definitely been a squatter here and he was peeing in all these bottles. Look how many of them there are. That's disgusting. If you lived here, why would you be peeing in bottles and just Leaving them right beside the bed. Look at that cobweb. Holy. Yeah. Definitely a very bad. Very bad situation happened here. Oh 
all the poor books. It sucks that they're being left. Just fish tanks and so much crap. Yeah, that's disgusting though. It smells like piss in here, so you know that's what it is. But who pees in bottles and just throws it? Just <laughs> not even throws it away. He just piles it all by the stairs nicely. And right beside where he was sleeping. That's messed up. Mm. So I think that's going to be it for the upstairs. It's not too big, is it? Seems a lot bigger from the outside. We're going to make our way to the basement. That's the way out of this house anyway. So it works out. This is just horrible. Horrible. The old doll. This old spinning wheel shouldn't be here dying. It's got lots of marbles. Definitely a bit of a hoarder. Old camera. I wonder if like maybe the squatter was the hoarder. Like there is a lot of neat stuff. It's just a shame it's all here dying. More VHSs over there. Nasty. That old shelf. I like that. It's a shame it's all moldy. I love maps. Like there's more art and painting just going to waste. It's just decaying, rotting away. Not much in there, just a little furnace. There's a really bad room. Full of bird cages, more dog cages, and a nasty little bathroom. Horrible, horrible. So that's it for this horrible, horrible house. I hope I didn't go too fast for you guys, but again, I just really didn't want to be hanging around in here. It's time to get out of here right now. All right, everybody, what'd you guys think about that? Very cool spot, only an absolutely horrible spot. And what sucks about it is as you're driving along the street, there's there's a highway and there's another street that cross and you can see this house from miles away because it's up on a hill it's so big and the fact that it's such a horrible building a horrible house it's it's the biggest eyesore you could ever imagine you can see it again from miles away and you know what the story is so unfortunately I'm not from this town but if I was I would rally the town people and we'd go and burn that place down the last thing you want is a horrible spot like that, just sitting in your town, bringing it down. Just like when there's a house and there's a really bad murder or a serial killer live there. Do they ever stick around? No. If the town doesn't demolish it, then the town's people go and they demolish it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like it, subscribe it, share it. Thank you for the comments, for the love, for the views, for all your support. Brandon Abandon, and I'll catch you on the next Explore. Ciao. We will rise from the ashes, we will rise.